today I'm doing a video on Minecraft and I'll be showing you the extra utilities mod for Minecraft 1.2.5 so let's jump into this and start off with the first few items but um, I won't be showing the crafting recipes because there's a billion so I'll just uh, give you the link to the forum where you can download the mod and uh, look at all the crafting re recipes if you want so uh, first we have the angel block which is good for people that like to build in creative mode because one sec you just uh, right click and it places a block wherever you're looking so you don't have to build a massive tower which is always good just place them everywhere <laughs> so um, yeah moving on we have the chandeliers because you've always wanted to uh, place a torch on the roof but you've never been able to do it so you just put it there but you can't walk through them which is a pain so I'll just put one here yeah you can still open the chest which is pretty good so next we have the block update detector which is some redstone what uh, pipe crap which I'm no good at and I don't really know what this does <coughs> so <laughs> It looks cool. You can use it for a hospital, <laughs> suppose. But that's that's what I do. <laughs> Just ignore me. Next, we have the blackout curtains, which are pretty cool. They should add this in vanilla Minecraft because it'd be a good feature. So uh, you can make a secret entrance. Just place one here and some more there. And if you walk in past blah 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 <laughs> uh, you won't see it well whatever but you can just walk through it and then here, ca here can be your like secret place or whatever or if you just like build a house and you don't want people to look in you can just put it there you can do whatever you want with it next we have the green screen and I don't think this has a use because I looked on the forum things I couldn't find it but maybe if you enter all that green screen stuff you can just uh, like make one in minecraft so make this like a real life thing or something let me just build this quickly and let's see what I mean so like let's just move this crap out of the way and so you could be like hello blah 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 <laughs> and like add uh, an effect where this green thing is I think that's what it's for but I don't do green screen so it's no use for me. Uh, next we have the compressed cobblestone. You can just get nine and then keep adding on. I've got like, yeah. <laughs> so this is going to be like super duper strong, I believe. Let me just test it out with um, TNT quickly. And if I'm right, this shouldn't blow up. I haven't tested it yet, so I don't know. And yeah, um, it doesn't blow up because it's super duper strong. So if you want to make your house out of that, uh, you can prevent like creepers from blowing up, which can get annoying. So next we have the conveyor belt, which is cool. So let's just put some down there. And basically, it will just um, push blocks like along, and I think it pushes you. Yeah, it pushes you. But um, it's main uses for blocks or whatever. <coughs> and yeah, see this little jump, which is pretty cool. Let's put all this stuff back on here. So I think it might go into a chest. Let me just check quickly. Um, also, bad thing is you don't know what direction it's going, which can get annoying. But as it's going that way. And I don't think it does go in the chest. Let's just test it again. No, it doesn't go in the chest, which is unfortunate. But you can have um, uh, what they're called hoppers to do that. Um, next, we have the cursed earth, which basically increases the mob rate, mob spawn rate, and as you see, it's just caught fire. Pretty nasty stuff. And I am on peaceful. Uh, I don't think any mobs are going to spawn, but they should. And it's night time, like, ten creepers will spawn on here or something. Probably. Uh, 
I would just leave that there, but because of people probably like ruin my day. Um, I'm not going to put it there, so let's just put that back. Next we have the ethereal glass. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Basically, this is just glass which you can see through, but you can walk through it, so it could be like a door, but mobs can't go through it, so let's just put that there. Try and push him through, and he shouldn't be able to get through. No, he can't get through, but I can, so... Okay, I've just broke it. <laughs> Never mind. So, like, you can make your house out of that and no creepers will, like, be able to get through or zombies or whatever. So, next we have the coloured wood planks. You can have every colour with by putting this paintbrush on the crafting recipe and nine p uh, planks, which is cool. So, you can just make your house whatever colour you want. Or make a rainbow house. I've only got blue because... I don't know. I don't know why I've got only got blue. But as you can see, I was messing around with the angel blocks up there. So yeah, you can just make a cool blue house or purple, pink, whatever. <laughs> so anyway, next we have the coloured brick, which is basically exactly the same as the like coloured wood, but it's brick. So you could have every colour brick. So pretty cool. <coughs> What do we have next? Next we have the iron spikes which you, you uh, make with swords I believe. This is, I think they do damage but I'm on creative mode so let's just one of them. Yeah, it kills all the mobs. Right, let me try and push him in. Yeah, I don't think they can move either when they're on it. I'm just going to get rid of these. Actually, go away. <laughs> um, next we have the peaceful table. <clears throat> which I think is amazing. Basically, if you like like to play in peaceful mode, but you want to get like gunpowder and rotten flesh from all the mobs and stuff, you can still do that. You just need a sword. Let me get one quickly. There you go. Oh crap. Put it in a chest next to it. And just get bedrock. God damn it. And then just cover it up. Like so. And in a few seconds, can't hear anything, let's just check. Anyway, in a few seconds or hours or whatever, however long it's going to take, uh, it will spawn mob and because there's a sword in the chest, it will automatically kill the mobs and then put the drops in the chest, which is cool. And next we have the sorting pie, which is all the pipes and stuff that I'm not really into. So I don't know how to do it, but I think you just oh god damn it! Yeah, so I don't, don't use pipes. <laughs> if that was a chest, maybe like the stuff would go through. I have no idea. <laughs> As I said, I don't like pipes and stuff. Next, we have the sound muffler. So if we get a cow, it makes annoying noises. Just put that there. Oh, god damn it! Okay, <laughs> just put that here. And hopefully, yeah, it doesn't make any sound, which is amazing. Because if you've got a farm and there's like a billion cows and sheep, they make really loud footsteps and stuff and they get on your nerves. Next, we have the rain muffler. It just takes off the rain sound in the area. Because we all know rain can get a bit annoying. So, yeah. Uh, next, we have the trading post. Basically, put it down. You need villagers around so I'll just spawn one of them in quickly. I think. Yeah. So as you can see, basically a better GUI for the trading. So if no, god damn it. Gonna yeah, it just shows you what it is but in like better thing. Which is cool. Next actually let me just get rid of all this crap in my inventory. <coughs> quickly. This is the transfer node. It's all with all the pipes and stuff. As I said, I don't like pipes, but maybe let's put that in. Um, I don't really know what this does. But you can uh, go on the forums and figure out <laughs> if you want. So next we have a trash can, which is pretty self-explanatory. 
Put your trash in there. Bedrock, don't want it. Gone. See? Pretty cool. Uh, next we have the transfer pipe. Yeah. Like the other pipes. Don't like pipes at all. <laughs> Just check up on this. Some of isn't not working, but I think I've crapped up the area. Like it's bigger. Quickly. And I need a block. Ah, got that. Um, so go away, cow. Mm. But it should spawn the mobs, and I know why. I'm an easy, and I should be on peaceful. <laughs> Sorry for that. Next, we have the creative builder wand and the builder's wand. Pretty much the same, but if I have grass in my inventory, God. Uh, if I've got grass in my inventory, uh, it comes up with this like thing here, and uh, it places all the grass. Like, let's show you like that. It's pretty cool. But the creative one, it's crazy. If you're on flat land, you can fill up the whole land. Then why am I lagging? <laughs> so you just press that. Yeah. You can make this in seconds. So if that's like a built-in, you do it really quickly. Which is cool if you like to build maps and stuff. So next we have the golden lasso. Or lasso, or whatever. So, you know, it's so annoying when you need to, like, get your stupid cow to your farm with wheat and it doesn't want to do it so you just uh, right click it with a gold lasso and it basically goes into it kind of like it's a bag and if you right click it again you just put him there which is pretty cool uh -huh. <laughs> so next we have the golden bag of holding what's this ah stop so it's basically like a chest, like on the go. So uh, if you've run out of inventory space, so you can just open your golden bag and I think it's the same size as a double chest. Yeah, I think it is. And you can just store your items in there, which is pretty cool. So, oh, yeah, I want to go in the chest. Here's the uh, division sigil, sigil. Sigil? <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that, but it can suck off the enchantments and there's loads of stuff with enchantments, so I can't really show you because I don't have any enchanted stuff. <coughs> but uh, it will say on the forums. The paintbrush is just to make the coloured thing. You just put the paintbrush underneath the wooden planks with a dye and it will make it that colour. So next we have the amazing tools. You make it with these unstable ingots, I would believe. And what does it say? Blah 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 blah. <laughs> so I'll just go in cre no survival mode and show off all the stuff. This is the erosion shovel, which is I think it yeah it's definitely better than diamond because pretty damn quick at mining. Here's the destruction pickaxe. Way better at mining, but I don't seem to be getting any blocks, which is pretty stupid. So you wouldn't go mining with this, but if you just want to clear out all the crap in your house mm. or something, just whip this out. And yeah, so here's the healing axe. Mm -hmm. And I didn't actually read what this is, but yeah, uh, what does it do? <laughs> I wonder. Let's test it out on a tree, see if it works. Um, hmm. I am intrigued. Maybe. Wait for it. Maybe. Wait a second. No. Hmm. I don't actually know what this does. <laughs> It'll probably say on the forum. I'm just an idiot. <laughs> um. So yeah, pretty good. Next we have the whatever that says, etheric sword. It's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Bam. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty powerful. I think it's as good or better than diamond. Not too sure. And uh, next we have the reversing hoe, which I believe let me just check. Uh, and you need a normal hoe. Should reverse hoed ground, maybe? Let's check it. Yeah. So if you accidentally 
hoe all the floor, and you're like, oh no, what do I do? And just whip out the reversing hoe, just cover it all back up, and nothing has ever happened. <laughs> so let's just cut on it. Fly back to the area that we were in and see what's there. So we have the uh, sonar goggles. So I think I have to go in to my hall. Oh, let's just check up on this. See if it's all worked. And yeah, some bones went in. It should spawn it in front of it, like there. And kill it and it will go in. So, oh, it's worked, that's cool. Just put these on. Cool little thing, and yeah. As you can see, there's like a um, white, I don't know what to call it, white thing. So you can like kind of see through the block. So, if I'm mine over to here. <laughs> yeah. So, I think this is for when you go mining. Let me just get a pickaxe. No. Crap. Um, Get a pickaxe. No, not T. What a pickaxe. Just get this out quickly. And I think, if I'm right, it should show like ores and stuff. Maybe, like x ray. So this should be something. Yeah, it's kind of like x ray. And this should be coal. Oh, it shows you caves and stuff. It's pretty cool. <coughs> if you no need to go mining, find some ores and stuff. Let's just uh, take these off because they get a bit annoying after a while. Just deposit all my crap in. The transfer node upgrade. I think if oh god, uh, I need a block quickly. Just place that. Oh, place that there and. Think. <laughs> I'm not too sure what this does. I thought it would do something with this, but apparently not. It might be do something to the speed. Let's just check this. And whoa. Okay, it definitely did something. <laughs> I believe. So, uh, lastly, we have the watering can, and I think it acts as bone meal. So let me just get a. Ho, real quick. Nope, don't want to do that. Ho, and get some seeds. Yeah, uh, I'll just ho these, and then get my watering can. Hmm. It was supposed to do something. Have I got an empty one? I could have an empty one. One sec. I'll just check. Um, no, this should be good. Hmm. It's a mystery. Let me check the forum page <coughs> quickly because I won't actually find out what it does. Okay. Um, plants and crops required lots of love and attention. Uh, ah, I see. You have to be in creative mode. I mean, not creative mode, survival. No, peaceful. That's it. <laughs> And I think I'm actually in peaceful. Which is stupid. Did I go in? On the forum there's like a picture of... Hmm. On the forum there's like a picture of... Um... It's spraying water everywhere. Um... It says they grow at a much faster rate. But for some reason it's not working, that must be a bug or something. So, uh, anyway, this is the end. I'd like to thank you for watching. Rate, comment and subscribe and have a nice day.